My name is Lisa Cuevas Jorgensen. I'm the Vice President for the Board of Directors for Nebraska Vietnam Veterans Memorial Foundation. And I'm also the Senior Director for Community Initiatives at Bellevue University. Bellevue University's role is mostly education. We help with the website. We have done research on the information that's featured in the obelisks. We also have helped maintain and create the QR codes that are here at the memorial. Now the QR codes are just those tiny little, sometimes tiny pieces of gibberish that appear almost everywhere now. They're kind of ubiquitous. During the development of the plans for the memorial, we thought that that was a great idea in order to make this a living, breathing memorial in the sense that visitors could come, scan a QR code, and be educated right here at the memorial about the events that took place during the United States' part in Vietnam. The United States was officially in Vietnam from 1965 until 1975, and each of the obelisks here at the memorial represent those years, and there's a QR code at each of the each of the obelisks that can be scanned and the information that comes up corresponds with the information that is engraved on the obelisk. On one side of the obelisk there's information about the events happening in Vietnam. The other side there's information about events that were happening in the United States so that we can kind of see the context of the Vietnam War not just from our perspective here in the United States and not just from the Vietnam perspective but see those two things parallel with each other so we can get a better sense of the history and the impact that the Vietnam War had on our culture and on our country. When you walk up the stairs to the memorial, you'll see this black wall that is reminiscent of the National Vietnam Veterans War Memorial in DC. On the front end of the wall are the names of our KIA engraved. On the back side are memorial tiles and each one of those has a QR code on the tile. Those QR codes go to the interactive wall of faces at the DC Memorial. Another place where we have QR codes are the honor walls that are on the perimeter of the memorial. The honor wall tiles can be purchased by anyone. Uh, they are for you to remember a loved one who has served in any of the conflicts, any wars, in any branch whether they are living or deceased. There is a level that you can purchase that allows you to have a QR code on your memorial tile, and then we ask you to write a biography of that person, and we create a web page for them. The Red Cross wanted to be part of this memorial, and so we have a wall dedicated to them and to the women that served in Vietnam. There is a QR code on that wall, that also talks about the women of Vietnam through the Red Cross. Another QR code that you might see is at the wall that honors the USS Evans. The USS Evans was made to participate in a training exercise with an Australian ship, the USMA Melbourne. During that training exercise, the Melbourne T-boned the Evans and 74 American souls perished including four from Nebraska. Now the USS Evans sailors that perished are not recognized on the wall in DC because they were not in the perimeter of the conflict. However, here at the Nebraska Vietnam Veterans Memorial, we've chosen to honor the USS Evans and not only the four from Nebraska, but all 74 of the sailors that lost their lives. There is a QR code that will tell you more about the USS Evans Finally, is the QR code associated with our helicopter. Our helicopter is very special. When you come to visit, there's plaques telling you about each of the flight crew members. There's also a button you can hit and you will hear the sound of a Huey helicopter, which is an iconic sound in and of its own. When you come here, Use those QR codes, learn about the Vietnam War, learn about why maybe your father, your grandfather, your uncle did what they had to do because their, their country asked them to do it. And then tell them thank you. They are heroes and they deserve this place.
So please, come join us, bring your phone, use your QR codes, and, and learn about the Vietnam War, and then go thank a veteran.